Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce here, and today we're going to be talking about how to take multiple objects. So these three objects have three different materials, and we're going to join them into one object that shares one material. So right now, if we bake these out, these would this would have you know three or four textures. This would have th four textures. This would have four textures. So there'd be twelve textures and three materials and three objects. And we want to get that down to uh, one, two, so one material, one object, four textures. So one way of doing this, especially for like 2D games and stuff like that, is something called a texture atlas. But a lot of, and there are plugins even for Blender for like texture atlases, but usually a texture atlas only takes into account base color. So that wouldn't really help us here because these, you know, this is metal, for instance, and this has, you know, very specific roughness and uh, normal map etc so um, so yeah I when I was trying to figure this out I was looking up how to make a texture atlas and so I was doing it all the wrong way and uh, anyway so we're gonna be baking these three to one alright so if we go into uh, symbol bake under the renders tab make sure we're in cycles and CPU uh, okay so we're in simple bake and um, the, the, so I'm just going to scroll down here towards the bottom and there's this multiple objects to one texture set. This You won't be able to select this if you only have one object selected. See how it's grayed out? So you have to have your object selected and the other thing is um, if you have alpha selected you can't select this and that's just because of the way that Blender works. You can either do multiple objects or you can use the alpha. So if you want, if you have an object that uses an alpha channel, you won't be able to use that in this in this particular setup. So, all right. Um, so you have all three objects selected, right? So one, two, three. Doesn't matter which order. Check this box that says multiple objects to one texture set. This alert comes up. It says you're baking multiple objects to one texture set. Existing UVs. You will need to manually make sure those UVs don't overlap. So you can definitely go in and uh, UV unwrap these manually. And for some objects, it makes total sense. If you don't know anything about UV unwrapping, you should go learn it. But you don't have to know it for, for Simple Bake. So Simple Bake can, so if you choose New UV Maps, um, you have a few options here. If you click on this, and maybe I can make this a little bigger. Uh, it's not going to change. Yeah, well, okay. If you click on this, you can see UV Project, Smart UV Project, uh, Individual, Atlas, and Combined Active UV Atlas. So. Uh, this has a tool tips here it tells you exactly what it does, but you could probably guess what we're doing. We're doing Atlas. So meaning that it's going to take these three and combine them um, using Smart UV Project. And you should definitely have some unwrap margin. I think it, it, it um, Symbol Bake uh, defaults to 0.1, uh, which I think is fine for this. And yeah, so let's just go back and, and check all the settings are correct. So Bake Mode, PBR, Diffuse, Roughness, Metal, Normal. Um, we don't need any of those. Don't need any of these. Yeah, so we'll be okay with these. All right, so let's do 2K is probably enough. So we'll just choose 2K. And let's see, or export bakes. If you were, if you knew you were going to bring this out to, to um, Unity or something right now, you could just do export mesh, and it, it'll, it'll create a FBX for you, which is actually really nice. Um, yep, all this looks correct. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, all right, and so let's go ahead and bake, and let's see what happens. All right, so you can see that it has created three new objects and hidden the other three. If we go into, let's click on this one. So you can see, if I click on this one, you can look up here and see it says Merge Bake. That's the name of the material. If I click on this one, you can see it's the same exact material. Um, so if we go and we go look at these, so this is what the uh, merged normal map looks like, and the roughness, and the metalness, it's either metal or non-metal, it's either black or white. And yeah, and then of course the diffuse. So the diffuse will help you. You should be able to see exactly um, how it how it did this. So it, 
it, it smart UV projected uh, all three of these into the same material here. And yeah, so do control space to go out of uh, full screen mode. And yeah, so so now um, you can you can decide to leave these as separate objects, depending on what you're doing with them. That might make sense. So even though they share the same material, I can still move this around and do whatever. Uh, but if you know that they're going to be static and you know that they're going to be in one position, then the best thing would be to join them together because they share the same um, material and if we join these doing control J it'll join those into one I'll do con con command uh, control Z to get out of that um, but that will take it from you know instead of three meshes it'll be one and that is that helps performance even in like unity and unreal and sketchfab I think they all have ways of automatically merging meshes that have the same material However, some of those, some of that stuff happens at real time or at runtime, so you, there's still somewhat of a performance hit. So, again, it sort of depends on your what you're doing, what you're using it for, what you're going to. Hopefully, you know what what you need to do. But uh, the other way you can do it too, especially if you have a large scene, if you know you want to join all the meshes into one material, then what you can do is you can activate, <clears throat> come shipped with, um, uh, with Blender by default. But if you look up material in the add-on section there's this materials util utilities and now if you have that enabled you can do shift Q and there's a bunch of stuff here that's great but you can go down to specials join by material and then you can either select the material or you can just say auto join and then it'll automatically join any meshes that share the same material so now we just have this one object and we just have the um, the one material and we just have four textures. So this will help performance a lot in, uh, in, in depending on where you're going and depending on how many objects you have. If you have an entire scene, if you can do this with your entire scene, that would be you know that that can dramatically increase performance. So um, yeah, I think that wraps up this tutorial. It's a pretty it, it, it's pretty easy. Like when if you're looking at this, you go, oh yeah, this is this is great. That's all thanks to Simple Bake because, uh, especially when you have a lot of objects, this is incredible. This is incredible. Doing it the old-fashioned way, as I call it, used to. I mean, even just to do this would take me quite a bit of time. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So go buy Simple Bake and then buy that guy a beer, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, baking lighting. So just so you have a, a basic understanding of how to do that. But uh, for now, this should be good. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And yeah, see you next time.